one of the things I did is I wanted to work with kids because I had worked with adults prior for the 10 years prior to that. And one of the things that I had brought from my previous jobs and from my previous interests was the use of focus groups to find out what people were really thinking about things. So um, I used a model that we've used in teaching for decades, which is teachers teaching teachers. I decided to use students teaching students. And so they became focus group leaders and they asked each other questions. And from that came the focus group project. She hasn't just been a teacher all her life. Um, she was the head of the BCTF, you know, the British Columbia Teachers Federation. And she has like a background of politics. And so I think that's given her a different view of teaching. Focus Group is a really incredible program that gives students like myself the opportunity to really become a leader in the school and in the community. The Focus Group at North Delta Secondary is an opportunity for students to gather together and uh, collaborate on projects of interest. What's special about it is we address global and community issues and we're basically being given the tools by the teacher and then we put everything into action. And what I've learned over the years too is that kids listen to kids far more than they listen to teachers or adults. I mean, we know that in society, we just don't follow it. But in this case, we followed it. Focus Group is unique in the fact that it brings all students, all different types of students together. So not just the smart ones and the ones that sit in the back of the class, it brings all of them together and it creates an opinion and with, from those opinions, you make initiatives to better the school. It's a good bonding experience because um, you go there and you see, you get to be with um, other students who you would normally not hang out with at lunch or you know after school and whatever, and like you see different sides of them. There is a real sense around here about positive leadership. And we're not talking about the same elite 10% positive leadership. I mean, at one point we had 250 kids registered as facilitators which means they actually have gone through a training, they're part of the program. That's not 10% of the school, that's way more than 10%. The 10% always has, has say in what, you know, the high school will turn out to, but what about the people who, you know, don't say, like who don't have much of a say? So we always go and beyond, we look to them. Sometimes as, uh, as adults, uh, uh, we, we forget that students are very, very capable of uh, providing opinion, uh, being critical in a positive way about uh, uh, directions. Other leadership programs, the teacher is the one coordinating all the events and everything, and the students are the ones doing the actual work. But with this, it's different because Ms. McCoy doesn't coordinate the event. You know, she gives us this, she says, here, this is how you do it, now show me, go do it. What's so great about focus group is you take something you want to address and you just do it. So it's giving me that mentality, like there's nothing to block you really. I don't think you can ever negate the power of giving a responsibility to a kid, having them do it, and then get praised for it or acknowledged for it when they've never had that before. It's helped with responsibility and independence. Um, I kind of now know that I can do things on my own and I don't necessarily need teachers or anyone else's help. Public speaking is outside of my comfort zone and like meeting new people is just, it's really scary to me. So after going through all the workshops, uh, I've gained a bit more confidence in myself and it's kind of, it raised my self-esteem. I've become a better leader and a better person, I guess you could say. I know how to handle things on my own and with other people. Uh, it, it gives all kinds of uh, life skills as well as uh, leadership, uh, community activism, community interest skills that uh, will serve them well throughout their lives. Me and three other students did a, um, a presentation about student engagement and we did it all over the Lower Mainland and they liked it a lot and they wanted us to present it at a Canadian Education Association um, conference. And we presented to about 100, and 100 or 150 teachers from all over Canada. We're students and teachers and like people that are like higher up in the education field were like so interested in what we were doing. You know, we send 80 kids out to do a BCTF conference and I get told out of a three-day conference with all these you know, important people talking and everything else. The highlight was our 80 kids walking into the meeting and taking over the discussion groups with all these teachers. She's always been like a mentor, but like behind the scenes. It's, she believes in student-led um, activities. I always tell the kids I believe in two things. And one thing is, is that one person can change the world and that my job is to leave the world better than what I got. And so that's what I tell them 
I believe in. And so from that, we talk about the core values of the program. The core values are this notion of cognitive apprenticeship, which is this idea that, that um, the teacher role is not to teach, but to help kids learn. Um, another core value is the student-led idea, which is to, is to let them actually do things. The other core value is that everybody has leadership. And so the, she's definitely translated that passion to me because I've always had, I've always wanted to do something bigger than I am, but I've never known how to do it. And so this has given me like a firm grasp of, you know, an issue that needs to be addressed. Her belief just really helped this program become what it has. The most important thing though it is it doesn't really matter whether school's got a program but if there is a real intention on the part of the school to listen as much as possible as to what kids are saying and to set up some kind of mechanism so that kids can see that their that their feelings and their views are being listened to that I think would improve schools we need to give full attention to the voices of students and not just in a peripheral way, not just having a token invitation to a meeting, but actually having meaningful, uh, real involvement in developing the learning and the direction for the future. Uh, so the focus group uh, does that. It enables students to come together, uh, it respects their voice, uh, it uh, takes their voice and and adds it to the conversation and dialogue about what the f future should look like. Kids can amaze you with what they can do, given the opportunity. Maybe what our regular school system doesn't do enough of is give them the opportunity to amaze, you know, to amaze people.